hello friends today is our last lecture on penicillin and in this video we'll see about piperacillin and tazobactam piperacillin is a beta lactam antibiotic as we all know it consists of beta lactam ring present in its structure it belongs to urido penicillin the penicillin which contains urido group are called as urido penicillin now what is urido group the group which contains univalent radical that is NH2CONH uridobenzene isonic acid structure in it are called as urido group you can see the structure of piperacillin containing urido group in it at the lower bottom corner of the screen there are three urido penicillins azelocillin piperacillin and mesloscillin now the best thing about urido group is they are active against pseudomonas arginosa as we have seen that pseudomonas arginosa is the very infective bacteria and now piperacillin is resistant to it as it contains urido group in it further we will see that it is an anti pseudomonal penicillin the bacteria which consists of genus pseudomonas is penicillin now it is resistant to it it is a broad spectrum antibiotic that means it will cover gram negative as well as gram positive bacteria as a vector it is a semethyl synthetic beta lactamase in inhibitor we have seen beta lactamase inhibitor they were flavulanic acid salbactam tazobactam now tazobactam is similar to salbactam but it is more resistant it is preferred as parental route as it is inconsistent to oral route so it is preferred as intravenous route piperacillin is administered along with tazobactam they are combined and forms very good combination it consists about 4.5 grams for the person having weight more than 37 kg from which piperacillin consists of 4 grams and tazobactam consists of 0.5 grams now we'll see about the indications of piperacillin and tazobactam first respiratory tract infection for example pneumonia asthma gastrointestinal tract infection that is stomach infection urinary tract infection pelvic inflammatory disorders surgical site infection meningitis surgical site infections are the most common side effects of surgeries normally if you perform a suture it may cause swelling for such swelling we can give piperacillin with combination of tazobactam it is more helpful now piperacillin and tazobactam are contraindicated to renal failure patient that is dialysis patient blood clotting related disorders and past positive patient past positive patient stand for past stand for penicillin allergic skin test the person having skin that test positive should not be given piperacillin and tazobactam side effects pain in abdomen heartburn chest pain nausea vomiting allergic reaction 